We are learning more tonight about the teenager from Monroe County who disappeared more than two weeks ago. An affidavit released today shows she provided the evidence that allowed authorities to arrest her adoptive father and charge him with rape. That document says authorities found photos and videos of Randall Lee Pruitt having sex with the 14 year old in her email and messaging records. 10 News is no longer using her name or her picture because we don't want to identify a potential victim of rape. Last night, authorities said they thought the girl was in Wisconsin because she was running away from a bad situation here in East Tennessee. And for other young people in a similar situation, they can be desperate. 10 News reporter Gabrielle Hayes looked at where they can turn for help. Gabrielle. Robin and John experts say reporting abuse as a child is extremely difficult, especially if that abuse is happening in the home. But there are groups that can help in ways to find a safe way out. Janet Jenkins is a senior director at the Helen Ross McNabb Center. She says the process of reporting sexual assault as a minor can often hold young people back. And it takes, you know, a lot of bravery to come forward and report what's going on. It's a process the center is trying to make simple. We have at our facility um, a program called Safe Place. Safe Place is a list of places where kids in dangerous situations can go for immediate help. Like uh, fire departments, um, all of the uh, cat buses in our area. And if you have a cell phone, you can find the closest safe place by sending a text. Text the word SAFE to for help and their location, and they'll be given the closest safe place site to them. At that safe place, agencies work to get them the help they need. But another option is to reach out to an emergency hotline. We can offer them um, counseling. Donna Kelly is the executive director of a domestic violence and sexual assault shelter in Morristown. She says while victims can reach out anonymously, if they are being abused, the hotline has to report that abuse to authorities. Then we are required to report it to the child abuse hotline. And while the shelter can't take minors in emergency situations, Jeekin says advocates at Helen Ross McNabb can. Where a child who is who is identified being in an abusive relationship or her home um, has the right to be placed in a safe haven. She says it's all about making sure children know what to do when they need help the most. And so if we work together, we can make sure that we can provide that for every child. If you need more information on how local resources or how to report, you can find that info on WBIR.com. Uh, and to find a safe place, you can text SAFE to 4HELP. That'll get you to the closest site to you. You can also reach the National Runaway Line at 1-800-786-2929. But of course, if it's an emergency, you'll want to call 911. And again, all of these numbers will be on our website. Robin and John. Gabrielle, thank you very much.